Hello there, it's time to take a break from reality. Welcome back to Tell Me Why, and we are gonna head straight into it, because I don't really have much to say. I'm just eager to finish this game and see what, what's going on. Like, more questions just keep coming up. <laughs> Hey, I'm Tyler. I've been looking all over the place for you. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Whoa, whoa. Hey, let's get you off your feet, okay? Come on. Listen, if you want to be alone, I'll go. But if there's anything you need to get off your chest, I won't snitch. You saw Allison? How is she? Yeah. I went back to check on her this morning. She was in a pretty bad way. Whatever went on between you two, it, it wrecked her. Look, I don't want to drag you into this. Well, I'm already in it, and you look like hell, so... I just got a lot on my mind. Well, I know one thing that's good for that. As a wise man once said, fishing is the cure to the wounds of the heart. Was that wise man you? Hey, like I said, I gotta write my own legacy. <laughs> Fair enough. So, you in? I, I don't know. Come on, we're burning daylight. Let's go. Where are we gonna go? Why go anywhere when we have a perfectly frozen lake right here? Ice fishing in November? Yeah. It got cold way fast this year. Climate change. That shit's gonna kill us. But hey, fish first. You can walk behind me if you're afraid, though. You're actually serious. I am a very serious man, Tyler. Bet. <laughs> Let's go. We still have to get everything out of the car. He, <laughs> he already prepared. Wasn't gonna take no for an answer. Stage is set. It's showtime. Whenever you're ready. You sure you don't wanna go? Nah. Look, no way I'm gonna rob you of your first catch in your own backyard. <laughs> All right. Got everything you need, by the way? Yeah, I'm good. Man, I'm so gonna miss this. Miss what? Just hanging out and fishing and... You know, I'm not gonna have a lot of time after you move to Juno with school and the JC and everything. Right, right. So did any of the people you came up with at Fireweed land in Juno? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. Once they left, I never really kept in touch. Really? Some of them were straight up awesome, but we just weren't that close, you know? None of them really got, like, family? I mean, I guess I got pretty tight with my counselor, Aaron, but a a I already have a family. Well, there's a reason we think of families as trees. They keep on sprouting new branches and... Oh, uh, hey, I think I've got a bite. You got this. Reel him in. Wait, what do I do? Come on, pull up on the rod. Now give it a nice pull. I got it. You can probably hear the controller. Slippery little. 
<clears throat> Got it. <laughs> Bravo. Hell yeah. First of many. Pace yourself. It's a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> Thanks, Sensei. Oh, hey, did you want to make solid plans to hit the buzzard hole? The river might ice over soon, so we shouldn't wait too long. Yeah, sure. Sweet. I was planning to go Saturday. I'll pick you up on the way out. Cool. I'll set my alarm to ass crack of dawn. You got anything good in there? Maybe. But who says I'm willing to share? Okay, fine. Be that way. You have this whole fancy bag just for ice fishing? You don't mix and match. Ever. Jeez, you don't mess around, do you? <laughs> Told you earlier. I'm a very serious man. Yeah, and I don't mess All around right, with cosplay stuff. So, I got my own bag and my own box for all that. Alright, let me hear Nice! Okay. Fish! Okay... <laughs> How about them apples? Oh, <laughs> nice job! So, you weren't all talk. Impressed? I only see two fish in my cooler. For now. So do you always drive around with an auger in your car? It's not how it looks. Okay, I swear. Mm -hmm. I, I was already planning on going ice fishing with the family this weekend. I made a mistake of forgetting the auger one, so we had nothing on hand but an ice chisel. That'll scar a man for life. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. That's what I was gonna say. So, what are you gonna make with what we catch? Hey, you got me figured out. Slice of fresh fish, topped with garlic, pesto, walnuts, just a drop of olive oil, pure perfection. As my partner in crime, you're entitled to a cut. Works for me, partner. So, about last night, I don't know what Allison said, but from my side, well, I thought we were on the same page. But it turns out, we weren't. Hey, so don't tell her I told you, but last week your sister was almost unbearable. She was jumping up and down with excitement at you coming back. <laughs> really? <laughs> you better believe it. Look, the last time you saw each other, you were kids. Just because things have changed doesn't mean you can't work it out. I know. It's probably my fault. I really pushed her last night. I just don't get why she always has to run away from everything. Can you blame her? Avoiding the problem doesn't make it go away. She's so fixated on selling the house. It's like she's trying to bury the past. All of it. Even the good parts. Well, you live in Look, the house then. I'm not picking sides here. Okay, but she's been murder house girl ever since it happened. Now she's got a chance to put it behind her. And start fresh. Shit, I'd be pretty eager too. I guess I didn't really think about that. I've been so focused on my own shit. It's been hard, you know? Perspectives. Figuring out how to live. Out here? You mean outside of fireweed? Yeah. When I first got there, all I could think about was getting out. It felt like a cage, but after a while, it started to feel more like a shell. Routine. I figured out who I was in there. And everything. But now, I've got to work out how to be that person out here. Well, if it makes you feel any better, none of us really know what we're doing. Oh like, my shit gosh, may dude. look bleak now, but your sister's never going to give up on you. And you can lean on me too, if you want. Just be careful, lean okay? Lean on me. Got a bad left shoulder. <laughs> I'll keep it in mind. Thanks for listening. Don't mention it. Don't you say anything. I got... Cheering him on in the bag. Easy. Oh. Whoa. 
Bam, three out of three. Well played. <laughs> I'd be I got nothing. Fisher. That was clean. Achievement huh. unlocked. Fish I'm all the little fate. The fish. What? Oh. <laughs> Can I ask you something kind of weird and maybe hard to answer? Weird and kind of hard to answer my jam. What's up? How'd you know you were ready to uh, trust anyone enough to put yourself out there? Okay. Yeah, that, that is a hard question. <laughs> Told you. There's not really two ways about it. You gotta be willing to take a hit. Look, I stopped listening to the entire indie folk genre just because I was dumped at a show once. But I put myself back out there just like everyone who's ever gotten their heart stomped on. Oof. Because when you meet someone who really sees you, you don't have to pretend anymore. <laughs> Hard to argue with that. And you're still interested in being that someone? Even after all the shit that's happened? Hey, I've got baggage too. I think it's worth the chance. Don't you? Why not? I think we're in total agreement here. Yeah? Yeah. I get this feeling like I could say or do anything with you, and it'd be cool. I feel safe. You are. Because your sister would kill me if I did you dirty. <laughs> uh, yeah, she would. So, doesn't look like you're catching anything with that. You want me to show you how it's done? Go for it. Hey, you're missing the show. He's a really nice guy. He's good to his sister and he's good to him. You okay? I need someone to take me fishing now. <laughs> oh, poor Allison. Forgot about that. <laughs> she had like a panic attack. Multiple, actually. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's one way to put it. Hey, Allie. I think I'll just show myself out. Okay, uh, call me later. You know I will. Better. Sorry for interrupting. No, it's totally fine. We were done anyway. Catch anything? Mostly ice, but yeah. Tyler... I'm sorry for freaking out yesterday. All of this... It's just been really hard on me. Don't apologize. I was being an asshole. We should have never pushed you that hard. Come here. Okay, they made up. God, why did I miss you so much? It's only been a day. I've been told I have that effect on people. You dumb dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I need to show you something. What? You're kind of weirding me out. Can we sit down for a sec? 
What are you gonna show him? So, what is it? I was just at Sam's. He's not our father. How do you know? I asked him, point blank. I'm not surprised. Burning down the barn didn't really seem like a Sam move. Yeah, I guess it was silly to suspect him in the first place. He'd never hurt Mary Ann's kids. There's something else. Look at this. This was taken in 1992 when Marianne first moved to Delos Crossing. Hello, I can't see. see that ladder? Sam told me the barn oh, has a loft. The loft. He helped her build it. Apparently, she never told anyone about it. And it's still there? As far as he knows, yeah. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? We've come this far. And a hidden loft? That's got secret shit written all over it. Let's go. This is gonna be too cool. I'm excited to see more. I mean, like, you never thought about how the roof only goes up so far, and then it's flat, but then the actual roof on top is like a triangle. Ugh, what a mess. That's not gonna help us get this house sold. Yeah, we got our deadbeat dad to thank for that. So, obviously the ladder's gone, but what about that handle? What do you think is up there? I don't know. I'm trying not to speculate. My brain was going to some real dark places. We don't have to do this. We might not like what we find. When has that ever stopped us? Fair point. Okay. No lever. Man, this place is a mess. If there was ever a time to find a magic portal. I thought I saw something red over here, but I guess my mind's just playing tricks on me. Oh, I'm looking for... For a second, I thought there might be another secret stash down here, but... Just a loose pl The handle should be behind this. Keyword should. Ah, uh, there it is. A ladder, maybe? It's opening up. The secret keeper always did store all the best secrets in the clouds. Yep. Come on. Well, that's way too high to jump. You want to give me a leg up? I'm so not touching your nasty shoes. We'll find a ladder. I was going to say, there's a ladder in here. Um, the trailer for chapter three, wasn't it? In the previous or two Can you see anything? Videos? <laughs> nope, nada. Nothing but glow in the dark stickers. Here, found a switch. Holy shit. Well, that shaved a few years off my life. <laughs> Whoa. She made all this? Painted it and everything? story oh. look she left us something it's got a combination lock with letters do you think she hid the code somewhere in all this knowing Mary Ann probably <laughs> well you want to do this yeah let's start here
recognize this? Yeah. It's from the story where the goblins tricked the Mad Hunter. It looks like it, but it's different, right? Can you check the book? Once upon a time, there's a young princess who felt hopeless. Oh god, more book stuff. Wait, let me just go to the... Thirty-nine. Okay, spot the differences. moves oh some of these parts are buttons oh wait do i just oh the castle why do you think she added that castle in the background see the color of the flag it could be her mother's castle it looks like the princess is running away from it so marianne ran away from home and she grew up kind of rich? Wait, the stars are the same. The trees are the same. Sorry, this is gonna be annoying. The moon is the same. The hand, the hand, hold on. The Mad Hunter still has two hands here. So this was either before the gold lady cut off his other one or after he earned it back? Which either makes it before most of the stories, say, or after. If this is yeah, the story... at some point when she was running away from whatever the hell the Mad Hunter meant to Marianne. She, this is probably when she met the, the dude. Huh. No goblins. Yeah. In the original, the goblins managed to save the princess from the Mad Hunter. So we saved Marianne from something. Not in this version? There's n wait, I have more that I have to... Mm, everything else is the same. Sorry, this has got to get annoying. Unless, am I supposed okay. to? Okay, spot the- Figured anything out yet? Uh, I'm totally stumped. Well, first off, the title's different, right? Oh, I have to- Oh, uh, didn't know that it's was- It's not the same title, so I guess that counts as a difference. That's it. Whoa. What's in there? Oh. Tyler, see that little light? I think we need to solve this one next. Hold on now. Pictures, letters, have you ever seen any of these? All the pictures of Marianne I've ever seen were the ones hanging on the walls. The gold lady. That was definitely her mom. So, did Marianne grow up kind of rich? Maybe. Would have been nice to have some of that. Oh, poor thing. Why would she keep an old drawing of a pet in here? My birdie Polly, I'll miss you forever. Sorry, I'm gonna look at everything just because it's like, oh my gosh. I can't believe she was a ballet dancer. Marianne. And a good one, too. God, that's so not her. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen a picture of her that young. I think that's her mom in the background. An artsy environmentalist. Yep, that sounds like Marianne's exact kind of catnip. <laughs> Did you know she studied engineering? No. It, it looks like she changed her major to visual arts. Fair I enough. don't think she actually got it changed. The paper's not That's signed right. and it's all wrinkled. Like someone tried to throw it away. Woohoo, engineering. Okay. 
Marianne, I can't do this anymore. You deserve better than cliche bullshit like it's not you, it's me. But the truth is, it's all just been too much to deal with and I've realized I'm just not ready. Maybe if we could have dealt with all of this on our own without your mom constantly putting pressure on us, things could have been different. But the damage is done and it's probably too late for that now. I'm so sorry, you're an amazing person. You made me a better man. I hate myself for doing this, but I feel like we'll both be better off apart. There I go with the cliches again. Please don't ever stop being who you are. Here, but I'm gone, Brent. Could this guy have been any more cryptic? He's literally saying the exact opposites of each other. <laughs> Tyler, see that little light? I think we need to solve this one next. Okay, well, let me. Why are these pictures from the Book of Goblins here? I, I don't know. The Crafty Goblin. Goody. Okay, anyways. There's the gold lady again. She's all over the board. There was a figure of her in that stash by the Mad Hunter painting, right? Oh, yeah. So, maybe all of this is related to what we found in there. Her cruel parents kept her locked away in their musty palace. Hey, I can move the piece next to the gold lady. All these pictures. They look like images from Marianne's life before Delos, don't they? Well, some of them do anyway. Maybe that's it then. We need to figure out which ones are real. Okay, so she had a bird. And then, oh, and she did ballet. The princess dancing, playing violin, spinning wool. I guess this is stuff she did for fun. Notice how unhappy she looks in all these pictures. I don't think she was having any fun. Oh, what is this? Uh, they're all... Okay, so she's... Graduating. So, money? Engineering, I think that's... Hmm. The wise princess looks like she's trying to run away. And she's being watched by the gold lady. Hmm. And this one... What's the gold lady do? Is that it? It's opening. L. Okay, I just completely guessed on some of these, so... What's in there this time? Our house. Is that Carol? Yeah. And Sam. And Sam. Look at him. He's so young and happy. Wow. She worked for a watchmaker in Juno before she moved to Delos. No wonder she was so handy. Here is my Delos Crossing Pals number, blah blah blah. Let him know you were interested in the house he's selling, Tammy. Salmonberry Park. Eco Village Arts Workshops. Oh. Salmonberry Park. Huh. Is that some kind of commune? Looks like it. So weird to imagine her living in a community like that. With, you know, other people. The weirdest part is how they all seem to love her. Where was prom queen Marianne when the whole town was turning on us? Good question. <sighs> her father. Marianne. Oof, excuse me. I wanted me to try to read that. I hope this letter finds you, but since you didn't leave any contact information, I will have to send it to your aunt and hope for the best. I'm writing to inform you that your mother passed away last week. Oof. We just had her funeral reception. The house has been filled with people all day, friends, family, colleagues, and church members. It is now 11 p.m., and I'm sitting alone in the kitchen table surrounded by do dozens of trays of food, flowers, and sympathy cards. Your cousin... 80 brought in a beautiful photo album full of our holiday pictures in La Connor. Uh, you're there in all of them, but you weren't here today. We haven't heard from you in four years, and I can can only hope, and can only hope you made, well, made it to Alaska or wherever you are, and that you and your child are both safe. Shh. Okay. Your mother has been sick and depressed for years, and you can imagine why the pain of being shunned by her own daughter knowing she would never see get to see her grandchild grow up it spread through her body like cancer and consumed her completely 
all this suffering simply because you ran away like a temperamental little girl instead of accepting your help when you got pregnant out of wedlock. Whoa. After dropping out of college and without a penny to your name, she only stepped up to help because she knew you weren't ready to raise a child properly. Marianne, a mother's duty doesn't end when her children leave home. Now that you're a mother yourself, I hope you can begin to understand that good parenting isn't about coddling children. It's about providing for them and shaping them into people they're supposed to become, whether they like it or not. I won't trouble you again. You've made your intentions clear. I just thought you should know. Dad. What the hell? She was pregnant. Marianne was pregnant in 1992. Oh, JK. Before she even got here. Before us? Do you we have a long-lost sibling out there somewhere? It's possible, but she could have given it up or miscarried. Who knows? Yeah, you're right. Do you think we could track down her father? You mean the grandfather she never told us about? I don't think I want to. You're not at all excited about having more family. You saw the letter. I don't think we want any part of that. Fine. Let's keep digging. Her cruel parents kept her locked away in their This muscle just room. lit up, so I think we're supposed to try this one next. Okay. Crafty goblins loot. Gold lady sees locked up in her castle. The old bear's gotta be in his ice cave. Oh. We'll let the mangy muskrat have his rock back. There you go, stalwart moose. Oh. Back in your pond, big frog. Here, the secret keeper, hiding secrets in the clouds. Oh, I missed one. That's the pious pelican spot. Crafty goblins go here. Mad hunter, always on the princess's trail. The wise princess goes in the big wooden house, of course. The moon is to be imprisoned okay. in her lake. Wait, hold on. Yeah, cuz I Oh, I missed Yeah, I missed two. Okay. Well. Oh well. I think it was the uh the Ice King and then I don't I don't remember the other the old bear's gifts for the princess. Hey, I want to take a crack at this one before we try to figure out any others. Okay, fine. Hey, I want to take a okay. crack at the yeah, What's yeah. this. Hmm. Some sort of map? This looks like a dinner party with the old bear and the very old beaver. What's that plant thing on top? Oh, those are definitely salmonberry flowers. Hey, that degree in outdoor studies is paying off. This is the princess's house. Some sort of clock? That's the gold lady's Hmm. It seems like it's not doing anything. Maybe it's broken? What's that plant thing on top? Oh, those are definitely salmonberry flowers. Hey, that degree in outdoor studies is paying off. Okay, so this is telling a story, right? Her house, a clock, okay. That's the gold lady's castle. And then she What's went- What's that plant thing on top? Oh, those are definitely salmonberry flowers. Hey, that degree in outdoor studies is- This is the princess's house. Some sort of clock? This is the princess's house. This looks like a dinner party with the old bear and the very old beaver. Ha ha! Yes. What's in there? Another letter? The princess's loss. Is this from the Book of Goblins? Achievement unlocked. Not that I know of. Well, sure looks like it could be. 
The Princess is Lost. Once upon a time in an ancient and deep forest, there lived a wise princess in a big wooden house. She had made it through the woods and to that house with nothing left but the clothes on her back and a single item from her old life, a splendid tiara. She lost almost everything in her departure flight from the Mad Hunter. The trees tore the rutsack from her back and shredded her dress and left a pattern of red welts on her skin. But through it all, she clutched the tiara close to her chest, fearing any misstep could cause it to fall from her arms and break. The tiara had its own spot in the big wooden house, a pillow near the window, where the sun would catch on its surface to shine and wink. The princess could stare for hours at the tiara, marveling in its beauty and running her thumb down its curves. Every morning she would wake and she would tend to it, polishing its every surface to be sure it shone as brightly as it possibly could. Then she would pluck it up, place it on her head, and walk the woods, feeling somehow more complete. Because what, after all, was a princess without a crown? Every night she would place it on its window, give it a quick kiss, and go to bed. On her way, she would pause and glance back to be sure it was still there. She hated to be separated from it, but she knew it was safest on the pillow while she slept. Oh, there's more. Okay. One night, the princess woke to a raging storm. The wind howled against the walls, rattling the windows in her panes. Oh, okay. Fearing a gust might burst open a window and blow the tiara to the ground. She plucked it from its pillow and brought it to bed with her. All through the night, she held the tiara close, and in the morning, she woke to find herself still cradling it. The storm had passed, and the princess had relaxed. Ooh, I can speak. That day was the same as any other, though she perhaps gave the tiara an even more thorough cleaning, grateful as she she was that nothing grateful as she was that nothing had done gone wrong that night she placed the tiara upon its pillow gave it a quick kiss and went to bed pausing on her way to be sure it was still there in the morning she woke and sensed immediately that something was wrong in the living room a tiara lay upon the ground broken dull and faded nothing else in the room had changed the pillow was exactly where she had left it the window was closed there had been no storm no wind no sign that anything at all could have gone amiss only the broken tiara, mute upon the ground. She picked it up and held it in her arms with a guttural cry, but though she tried to fix and to polish it, it was gone, beyond repair and with no shine left. The princess held the tiara through the day and through the next night, sitting in the same spot at the window where she used to polish it. When the sun rose, she looked outside and her gaze fixed on a sapling. She remembered how this sapling had survived the winter, clinging to life despite the frozen, unforgiving earth. Without a word, she went out and buried the tiara in the ground beneath the sapling, and as the final scoop of dirt fell, the tiara felt truly gone. It went fit the final link to her old self. She would only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world, where she would no longer ch was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan, wan? wan woman alone in a deep and ancient wood. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure and her title. That we've seen in the book. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure and her title. That was the story she read us that night. God, it makes sense now. Yeah, she got pregnant. And she ran away to start a new life. at Delos Crossing where she was finally happy. But then the baby died. Is that what the tiara was? I can't even imagine how she must have felt. She left everything behind. Built a whole new life for him. And then, he was just gone. I guess having us helped her move on. But when it looked like we were going to be taken away, she snapped. Couldn't lose another kid. She just couldn't lose any more children. It really wasn't anything we did. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with all this. I don't either, but... All I wanted was to understand what happened to her. And now I do. Yeah. But we still haven't seen what's in that chest.
Okay, so how do we open it? The princess lost her most precious treasure. That's why it all happened. I still can't wrap my head around it. Why don't we solve this one first? Because I want to look at everything else. <laughs> okay, so oh, oh wait, oh, oh Ellie. Okay, yeah, because I solved that one last. All right, should be easy enough. <laughs> wrong because we saw this one first and then this one and then that one oh all right should be easy enough <laughs> loe Why don't we just break this open? There's a crowbar right downstairs. What? No. You don't want to try and figure out what all this means? I'm so done with her riddles. Oh! It's a name. Hold on. Leo. Yes. Oh, whoa. How did she make all this? Whoa. I mean, did she wasn't engineering. Get in here? <laughs> Must have been a very good engineer. A baby blanket. Ollie, she, uh, she noticed. Dear Allison and Ollie, we write stories to understand. I was her son. But what is a story without a first act? I'm sorry I kept mine from you for so long. All my love, my goblins. Why does she have a photo of that tree locked in here? Is that? Leo Ronan. Why didn't she tell us about him? Why didn't she tell us any of this? I mean, it's fucking terrible. That's why. Allie, did we do the right thing opening this? We did. It's better we know what happened, even... People even cope differently. Hard. There's one more thing we need to see. Are you sure? Yes. Come on, let's go to the dock. It's time to finish this. The crafty goblin's loot. That's from the princess and the two thieves. I drew the original. And I distinctly remember drawing that cake. Okay, which I have to, is arguably I have to the best out. part of that illustration. All right, Picasso. Then you probably remember what the goblins stole in that story, huh? Uh. What was it? <laughs> Am I just dumb? I can't read things. Hold on. Uh, fruits, nuts, and eggs. Fruit. Maybe they took some of the princess's fruit? I'm pretty sure they stole some eggs. Some flour for the cake, maybe? Wait. 
did they steal candy? No. Or not. Spoons, plates, okay. What if they took some spoons? That's it. I always wondered where that drawing went. She said it was her favorite, and then one day it just disappeared. You are the best mom in the world, the prettiest princess. Hey, now that we're done with the important stuff, maybe we can take a crack at these? For sure. That's what I'm doing. Very old beaver's repair list. That's the story where the princess's house gets damaged by a storm and the animals help her fix it. Yeah. Sam? What did they do to fix it again? Uh, the house in the storm. Shingles and planks. The beams. And okay, so shingles. Uh, she fixed the roof shingles. She fixed the planks that were blown off the walls. She slapped the post with her- All right! Ooh. Damn. That must have been rough on Eddie. Yeah, he, um... Uh, he doesn't really like to talk about her. Okay. Dear Marianne, you cover your ears every time I try to have this conversation with you, so I thought I'd have a better chance doing this in a letter. I know you don't like saying goodbye, so I'll keep my melancholic rambling short and sweet. I want to thank you with all my heart for taking care of me for these past few months. I can't even imagine how exhausting it must have been for you to look after a sick old lady when you also have two small children at home. I know you want to keep fighting this disease and hoping for recovery, but it's always been a great it's always been a great strength of mind to know when it's time to let go and that time has come. I'd like to ask you for one last favor. Please take care of Eddie after I'm gone. My poor boy puts on a brave front ever since his father died, but I know he's in pain. Oh, I would be so much more at peace knowing he still has a f has family. Maybe he can teach the kids how to fish. He loves spending time with them. Thank you for the warmth and the peace you brought in my life. Give the kids a kiss for me, will you, Carol? Um, let's see. I did that one. Let's do this one. The old bear's gifts for the princess. I'm totally blanking on that story. What did he give her again? Why don't we open up the book and check? Okay, fresh caught salmon, handful of ripe berries, and a blue shell. Salmon, berries, blue shell. Okay, salmon. Some roses, maybe? No. Wait. Huh. Fresh caught salmon? A newly bloomed bluebell? Oh, yes, yes. Or not? Yes. A newly bloomed bluebell? A handful of ripe berries? Nice. Man, he had it bad. Just couldn't let go. <clears throat> Sorry for the note under the door, like a prison inmate. You okay? I stopped by and rang a couple of times this week. But you didn't answer. I could see the light in the hayloft, so I figured you were in, but didn't want to talk. I hope it didn't ruin everything. I know I probably came on kind of strong, but the thing is, I don't know how to talk to a woman like you. You are strong and kind, and you know so much. It's hard. It's hard for me to know how to keep up. I guess all that went in my head, but I want to know I got the message. I want you to know I got the message, and I'm gonna get out of your hair now. And there doesn't need to be any bad feelings. We can pass in the street and say hello or not. It's okay. P.S. I noticed your car was leaking, so I put some sealant in there. You might need to take it to the shop, though. Let me know if you want me to come with you, because sometimes these guys try to rip you off. If not, no big deal. Sam. 
Well, okay. Uh, did the, okay, so this is the last one. The crafty goblin's good deeds. Of course. The goblins had to help out the creatures of the forest to pay off their debt to the pelican. Uh, well, what did they do? You know, I don't really remember. Of course the pelican, because, you know... Where do they... Um, what chapter is that? They broke open the beehive for the bear. Maybe not. Hmm, you know, I just... <laughs> just hope all of them. Um, wait a minute. The three main characters that we know about. Let me try wait. that. Wait. Actually, I'm not sure. Wait. The three Hailed closest it. people to them. Our lives They're... would have been so different if their friendship hadn't gone to shit. The Pelican Crossing is a specialty gift boutique near the... Pelican Crossing is first store to act as early addition. Okay, so she's trying to help her, but essentially... Cover expenses and stuff like that. Working on the executive summary part of our business plan, what do you think, Tessa? Alright, let's, let's... I think that's it, right? Did that one and that and we are we are good right yeah all right let's go you really want to go you sure we've seen everything actually i'm gonna leave this i guess episode we could stay here. a little longer if you think there's more to find it's almost been an hour in, and um, I'm going to leave this one here after opening everything. Um, wow, we, we learned so much about her past. Like, oh my gosh. Like, losing a kid like that, and, you know, her parents, and, and stuff like that, and just having to restart all over. That's something I just, I cannot imagine. But um, I'm going to leave this episode here, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!